Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nat. I'm Amanda. And we are K Junkies. Welcome back to something that we haven't done in a while. Yes. If you know us from back then, we used to do something called K Monthly. And if you know us from even before then, we used to do something called K Weekly. So we decided why not bring back K Monthly, but not as lengthy as it used to be. Yeah. We are going to talk about some releases that came out in the month. We obviously aren't reacting anymore, so this will kind of help you see an insight of how we felt about some songs. And yeah, we're obviously doing it in the month of July. Because we are now in August and July is officially over. We have a list of songs that came out in July that we are going to talk about. We will not be covering everything that came out in July because if we did everything, it's just too much, guys. Let's get started with our list. This is in no particular order. All right, so the first song for K Monthly is Baby Monster Forever. So as some of you may have remember, we had reacted to Sheesh. And then we had to get it removed because we got a lot of flack for it because we had opinions that people didn't like. Uh, so Baby Monster is a group that we weren't really like, I guess, like too keen on music wise with Batter Up and Sheesh, but they dropped forever. And although at the beginning, right, we didn't really, we were like not sure how to feel about it. It definitely grew on us a lot. Um, it's a very different style from from Batter Up and from Sheesh. It's a good like girly time it's fun. almost yeah with a little like you know hard hitting rap in the middle um i think what was off putting for us was the rap a little bit yeah. a little bit we're still getting used to baby monsters rap style yeah and i love yeah. the vocals especially at the end with like rami and ahia and like harmonizing it's it's a good song it's, it's k junkies approved the next song we're going to talk about is sticky by kiss of life I feel like if you've seen at least some of our videos, you know we enjoy Kiss of Life. They're like a favorite fifth gen girl group of this generation and oh, sticky. I mean, welcome back, sister. Literally. Welcome back. Like not only are they a four member group and they're like sexy girlies, the song itself really gave off sister vibes, especially like the vocals. I was just like hooked. I was hooked from the teaser actually. Literally. I watched that teaser a couple of times. I really appreciated this summer release. If you are a, a long time watcher of us, I am not like the biggest summer song fan, but when a group does it right and I like it, that means like you did something good. All right, the next July release we're talking about is Stacy with Cheeky Icy Thang. If you get it, you get it. And if you don't, then you're missing out. Because I feel like a lot of people kind of were mixed feelings about Cheeky Icy Thang. I personally love it because it kind of gives me like a um, kind of like popular girl, like Camp Rock. I feel like the girl from Camp Rock, the really like mean girl or like no. Sharpay from High School Musical would have something like Cheeky Icy mm. Thang. Like I'm cool as ice. Whiskey, ring a ding dong. Ring a ding dong. You know, I don't know. I love sure. Cheeky Icy Thing. I think it's fun. I think it's still very Stacy. I am a Stacy fan, very big Stacy fan. Love my girls. I was like a little confused when I first <laughs> heard the song. It was definitely an interesting song. I didn't hate it. I was like, okay, this is a song. And I had to hear it a couple more times, but like obviously it, it did grow on me. I love Stacy. And honestly, People need to stop complaining because the people complaining are the same people who are saying that the K and K-pop is gone. Right, and then we have Stacey doing this. And this, uh, is the, this, this is K-pop. This is K-pop. This is the, the quirky, weird, colorful stuff that I got into K-pop for. Yeah, so I so. love Stacey for keeping that alive. Thank you. The next song we're going to talk about is Hot Mess by Espa, their Japanese debut. Oh my god, I feel like finally, to be honest, it's about time that Espa had their Japanese debut. Um, love the styling. Like the music video, the Gundam, like love the styling. I feel like it suits a Japanese debut. Song-wise, like I like I, I don't mind the song. Like I, I listen to it. Like I can get down to it. It's not like my favorite Japanese release, I would say. So, but I can get down to it. It's it's okay. It's okay. It's definitely not high on the list for me. Um, it's an Espa song for sure. Yeah, not like high up there 
for Espa. So it's okay. It's a song. It's a, it's a song. Next, we have Taeon, who released Heaven. I mean, Taeon is one of the best soloists in K pop. She definitely knows how to do variety without making it too much. It still like sticks to her style. And I loved Heaven in the sense of like the retro vibes, the chorus. The music video was very interesting. It was. Like the bear and like just her dancing along, like kind of like crazy. Like, I don't know. Like, I dig it and I feel like the song was great and the way she looked was also fantastic. So, the song was really short though. It right? did feel kind of short. I remember being like, oh, it ended. All but right. I think it was good. So, the next song on our list is Lights On by Weekly. First of all, I'm glad that Weekly came back in general because Room Room. What a great song Room Room was. Like, I love that song. I cannot skip it. So I was glad to see them back again. I wouldn't say this is as high as Room Room. I think Room Room is still, like, up there for me compared to this song. But it was, like, the nice, fun, cute, weekly vibes. The music video was interesting. And I'm just glad they're back, to be honest. I can't trust their company, so. And they look good. Like, Soon with the short hair. And Monday? Next song we're going to talk about is Justice by Dreamcatcher. I really love Dreamcatcher. I was really, really getting in really deep with Dreamcatcher around Scream era. Uh, Boca is still top tier for me. But like after Odd Eye, like all the eras after that just weren't hitting for me. So I was getting really sad about it. But I felt like Justice was a good, like, welcome back Dreamcatcher song for me, you know? Uh, the song, it hits hard, and the fact that they're, like, they're just holding these notes in the chorus, and, like, they're literally, it's different members doing it every time. Like, Dreamcatcher is just, is just that They're group. so talented. They're so talented. And I love the song. Like, it, it makes me, it makes me want to fight. Like, Justice makes me fight. Yeah. Like, it makes me want to fight. And the ad-libs at the end, oh, my God. I mean, she even is, like, an amazing vocalist and the harmonization and everything like the ending just chills chills so next we got and hypen with exo only if you say yes only if you say only yes. if you say the yes. consent exo i feel like when i first heard the chorus teaser wise i was kind of like eh about it and then i didn't really know what the full song was until a little bit later after its release and i watched the music video and honestly like it's not bad i think it's a decent and hypen song it's not like my favorite and hypen song but it's not a bad listen. Like, I could get down to it. Yeah, I also had heard it um, briefly, and then I, I heard it multiple times, and I was, like, not feeling it. I was like, this song is weird. Very one note. Like, I just felt like it wasn't giving me anything. Um, but then I was like, can we watch the music video? Maybe that'll help. And I feel like the music video really helped set the the mood vibes, yeah. and the vibes for me with the song. So I was like, okay, I like the song. A little more now and it it does get stuck in my head a lot oh yeah the x it's oh, very oh, 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 oh. catchy it is very so, catchy an earworm they did that they knew what they were doing yeah. with that next song on the list is nct 127 with walk god damn they didn't have to release such a banger to be honest i didn't Honestly. know what to expect um we did talk about this in our podcast as well so if you watch our podcast you kind of already know what we feel about nct 127's walk but certified banger I agree. I loved everything about really it. Really good time. I love the vibes. It's, you know, got like an old school hip hop vibe like to it. Like chill vibes. Yeah. Super chilling. And I was just like, damn. Okay. 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 I didn't know what to expect. Okay. Um, because, you know, Taeyong's not there. And love it. I like it. Good yeah, stuff. It's, good it's stuff. 10 out of 10, to be honest. All right. Moving on on our list is Chick Chick Boom by Stray Kids which we did also briefly talk about um, on our podcast. And, you know, we mentioned that, like, with Stray Kids, it's a hit or a miss with us. The last two or three releases by Stray Kids were more on the miss side for us. Miss, but, like, you grow to, like, be okay with it. Yeah, like, you can vibe to you it. You know, um, but I enjoyed Chick Chick Boom from the get-go. Very fun. It's got like kind of like a Latin beat to it and very, very good time. Really enjoyed it. I think I really liked it because there wasn't any crazy shifts to it and no like super um, hard hitting raps. Yeah, no like super hard hitting Yeah, raps. that's not really like our flavor, like hard hitting raps, like super like in your face. So I also enjoyed it because I felt like all the parts were good and the cameos in the music video were also amazing <laughs> really enjoyed the music video and yeah i think i think it's a really good straight kids release like i i vibe to it like the chorus it, it's got me it's got me moving so all right next on the list is triple s with hash they released a pre-debut japanese song so not yet their japanese debut but a pre-debut ot24 song 
And if you like like cute girl group music, like J-pop anime opening style, then I definitely recommend Hash. It's really fun. It's adorable. And they even did perform it in a Japanese event not too long ago. So I recommend it. And I just want to plug it in because I always got to plug in Triple S okay. somewhere. I had no idea it was even Japanese. So they're doing OT... They're doing 24? Well, this one's, OT, this one's OT24, but there's like a voting going on for like a Japan unit. So we'll see you there. Huh? Don't Why? worry about it. How would they do that? Don't worry about it. Moving anyway. on. <laughs> the next song we're going to talk about is I Do, I Do by Kara. Ooh, so we did react to this in our podcast. So if you want to check that out, make sure to watch the podcast for our reaction. But I personally really enjoyed it. It was like a nostalgic feeling with Kara. And I'm just glad that Kara made another comeback. And I hope they keep making their comebacks, you know? Like, I love seeing second-gen groups return, and I like that the styling was different from when I moved. We have a soft spot for Kara, so whatever they do, I'm just glad they're here. All right, next song on the list is XG Something Ain't Right, which is another song that we reacted to in our podcast episode. Uh, we were having a great time throughout that entire reaction. Uh, you know, XG, like we said, I feel like they can't really do anything wrong at this point. They're super talented and they make really good music like they're just so good and so good i look forward to anything xg releases now and i love i love the different vibes that, like from woke up and then something ain't right like it just shows xg's versatility as a group yeah like they really could just serve us anything and this song served something different i love it and then this like yeah the styling was so crazy fun. too it's so fun and the last song we're going to talk about for the month of july is Touch by Cat's Eye. Yes, we reacted to this in our podcast. And obviously when we react to the podcast, it's like a first listen. So we have our opinions there. This this is like now after we've listened to it a couple more times and it's catchy. It gets stuck in my head. It like it's is so extremely catchy. It's so catchy. I definitely prefer it a lot more than their song debut, which was their pre-release. They do have another song, I believe, coming out in August, which I think is the album if I'm not mistaken. So I don't even okay. know if this is your debut or not. I have no idea. Huh. At this point, I'm just here along for the ride. But again, very gorgeous girls. The song is very short, unfortunately, and kind of like just a one note type yeah. song, but very catchy. Very catchy. Could benefit from a bridge and like a more climatic, like uh, yeah. ending chorus, but still a catchy song. And I feel like at the end of the day, people just want catchy songs that they could do TikTok challenges to. And honestly, I like this dance a lot more than their other dance. Yes. I like this dance a lot. Like, yeah, aesthetic wise with the girls, it looks really good on them. So, all right, guys. So that concludes our K monthly for the month of July. Yay! we can't wait to do more of these things so we can share our opinions of these songs as well as it gives us a chance to actually hear these songs longer so we can give you a more definite opinion on these songs than just based on reactions so i hope you guys enjoyed that make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can keep up with our podcast and our k monthlies and any other videos we're going to put out and follow us on tiktok and instagram which is at k.junkies all right thank you guys for watching bye